welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new, hello, I am Cecilia Nico, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the No Filter Collection. I got it in the mail. I got the foundations, the two press sheer tinted powders, I also got a concealer, and I'm going to go ahead and slather my face in these products because this is the first time that ColourPop came out with a whole full collection for complexion, and they have 42 shades foundation, very affordable, and I want to see if this is good for my EXO squad game, it is worth buying. So if you guys are completely new here to my channel, you randomly found my channel because you like, who is this black boy with makeup on? I don't even know who he is, but he looks sickening subscribe to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join me here on youtube and be a part of the xo squad where it is lit on this side of youtube <laughs> also turn on your post notification bell and also give this video a thumbs up because you guys know how i'm sickening this look is sickening pose 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 so with that all being said let's go ahead and jump right into this video <laughs> Alright guys, so skin has already been primed. I also put on a liquid illuminizer from Lancome. This is the click and go. And I also did my brows. I have plenty of brow pencils laying around the house, so I did not want to purchase a brow pencil. So I'm also going to let you guys know other products that I did not purchase. And the main reason why for that as well too, as the video goes on. But I did not purchase a brow pencil because I have plenty laying around. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into this video and what you guys came here for. The No Filter Collection. I have four products and I'm just going to go ahead and get right on into it. Alright guys, so the first part I want to talk about is the No Filter Foundation. This foundation is $12 and you get 0.85 foot ounces, which is a little bit less than your typical one foot ounce. It is a oil-free, full coverage, quote unquote, soft blurring pigment foundation that will give a natural matte finish. And I'm excited to give this go. I have the shade Deep Dark 195, which is supposed to be a similar shade to Fenty 450, but we all know Fenty ain't. And ain't letting nobody off their necks. So <laughs> I'm gonna see if this is actually a close match to Fenty. So I'm gonna do a side by side swatch to that foundation. So here are the swatches top swatch is ColourPop, middle swatch is Fenty 450, and then the bottom swatch is Fenty 470. I honestly think this is a little bit more pinker than the Fenty 450. It is kind of in almost the shade range. I feel like this is a lot more neutral than the Fenty. 450 which is a little bit more on the warmer tone. I am going to do exactly how I always normally do. I'm going to do one side beauty blender and then the other side with the brush. I'm actually going to try the ColourPop brush and see if it's actual good brush. If it doesn't really blend that well you guys know I'm going to go in with my Sephora 47 brush which is the brush I used in my CoverGirl video and I hope you guys watched that video. If you guys did not definitely check the eye right here above to watch the CoverGirl True Matte Foundation that I did a wear test and review on and Check that out because that was actually like one of my favorite foundations. Alright guys, so this is one layer applied to the skin. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the second layer here on my jawline. You guys know how it goes. Just for coverage, just see if it actually cover my 5 o'clock shadow down here. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is two layers on the skin with a sponge. I'm going to save my thoughts of this particular foundation after I do the other side with the brush. So I'm going to go ahead and take the ColourPop foundation brush, the F16. So I'm not kind of liking this brush per se. I really don't like the traditional foundation powder brushes. So I'm just going to switch over to my Sephora number 47. Grab one more pump of the foundation and I am just going to go over areas where I need extra coverage. Alright, foundation is completely on and blended out. Honestly, I feel that the coverage is definitely there. I do feel that it is very much medium to full coverage buildable. And if you do apply with a sponge, you do get a little bit more luminosity, as you guys can see. I think it's just because it's the, the beauty blender is wet and of course applies to your skin a little bit more wet and emulsifies it a lot more better. But other than that, I do feel that this foundation is an okay foundation. So we're gonna move right on into the no filter concealer. Alright guys, this is the no filter concealer. The no filter concealer retail price for six bucks. It is a full coverage. Concealer that has a ultimate blurring pigments to give you full matte finish. 
I grabbed the shade Dark 46. It is a little yellow, yellow, yellow. But I hope that this actually balance out this red tone foundation and kind of bring me back to life. So let's let's doctor it up a little bit. I'm actually liking this concealer with this foundation. I feel like it's brightening me back to where I'm supposed to be. And I know from reviews that this foundation dries quick, so that's why I'm going in sections. And now I see why my friend Janelle and my other friend Jay Hart constantly buys this concealer. It's very good. It's really, really nice. I think I'm going to grab a more deeper concealer the next go around when I do make a purchase with ColourPop. Uh, probably like 48, just so that I can be able to do a little bit more cutting of the cheek so it doesn't look too bright because I feel like once I blend this out here it's it's gonna look a little bit brighter than normal but it'll do for right now so the next product that I purchased as well too are the ColourPop Press Sheer Tint Powders these press powders are supposed to be a sheer matte finish that also reduce shine it also blurs imperfection and it also give no flashbacks I picked up two shades I picked up deep dark and I also picked up dark I'm going to use dark to set my under eye area I really learned that from makeup Shayla to use a press powder to set your face before you bake so you don't get dry patches because I tend to get a little bit of dry patches in my cheek area. I'm taking my Sephora number 79. This is the Pro Contour Brush. Giving my brush a little bit of wiggle. I love the fact that it has a mirror as well too. And I'm just going to press this right under the eye. I honestly think this is a really good press powder. Then I'm going to take the shade Dark Deep. Then I'm just going to sweep this everywhere else on my face. And I'm also going to apply that to the neck to set the neck color. After all these powders, I'm looking in the monitor right now, I feel like it's it's balancing. It's it's doing a balancing act right now. All right, guys. So I'm back. I'm gonna go and hop into the Fem Rosa Carucci ColourPop Collection collaboration eyeshadow palette. I've been holding on doing looks with this palette for a while. I also have the Makeup Shayla Perception palette. So I'm gonna jump back and forth between these two eyeshadow palettes to create a look. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe M330 and I'm going to take the shade Revenge. Then I'm just gonna sweep that right into the crease. Then I'm gonna use that same brush, the M330. I'm gonna get the shade called Played Out. And I'm gonna take that right into the crease. Switching over to the M504, I'm just going to blend that out. Then I'm going to take the Morphe M325 and I'm going to go into the Femme Rosa shade. I'm going to pick up this deep purple and just carry that more into the crease. Taking my Crown C42 brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that No Filter Concealer and I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. Crack the crease. I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. Then I'm going to take my Luxie 249 brush and I'm going to jump back into the Femme Rosa collection and I think I'm feeling this shade called Gal. It's a metallic dual chrome pinky purple shift which this look definitely calls for. Grabbing the other side of my 249 brush from Luxie, I'm going to go into this deep cranberry shade called Missy and I'm going to blend that inwards towards Gal. Going to grab that dark shade from ColourPop in my 79 brush from Sephora and I'm just going to sweep off all of that fallout. Grabbing a little bit of EDC setting spray water, I'm just going to give my skin a spray just to melt some of these powders down. Alright guys, so the next item that I'm going to be using are some highlighters. I have the Makeup Shaler Highlighter Collaboration from ColourPop in Booming and Pose. I um, did a review on this this collection, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, I will leave that in the link above. I'm going to go in with the shade Pose. You guys know that is my bomb.com. I love this particular shade out of the two. Just every time I put this on, it's just like, yes. 
Then I'm going to take a teensy weensy bit of Boomin. Just a teensy beansy beansy wig. I'm just going to pop that right on top of Pose just for a little extra plat out. So I'm going to jump back into the Femme Rosa palette. I'm going to take my Morphe M32 brush and I'm just going to take that shade called Missy right on the lower lash line and kind of like even out the eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Mademoiselle, which is really pretty and bright. I'm going to use that as an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to hop off camera real quick and I'm going to go ahead and add on some liner and lashes. And we're going to come back and do the lips. All right, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and add on my lashes and liners. I also did my lip liner. I used a round lip liner that I already have in my collection. I just didn't want to buy more lip liners as well, too, from ColourPop because I have so many. But nevertheless, I have a lot of lip products in my hand from ColourPop. So we're just going to go ahead and throw something on top of this and complete the look. So I have three Luxe lipsticks. These are also from the Makeup Shade Collaboration. I have the Come On Sis Ooh and Quickie. I think I'm going to use the shade Come On Sis. That's the only one that I wasn't able to create a look with and I think that this would be perfect to go with it because it is more of that pinky cranberry tone and that's what the eye is also reading as well too. So I'm just going to apply that all right to the center of the lips. And I think I finally made this lipstick work. I feel like this is a look. This is a look. Come on sis, this is a look. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of that shade Quickie, just a little bit. I also have two Ultra Set and lipsticks. I have one in Barracuda and the other one in Strip. Uh, but I am going to add a gloss on top of this look just to add more shine and dimension. You know I am a gloss girl. So I have three ultra glossy lips. I have the Makeup Shayla one, which is in the shade Neat Freak. I have the Ellery gloss in the shade Stillo. And I also have the Karuchi Femme Rosa Collection lip gloss in the shade Catesta. Mm, all of these look very similar. There are a little bit more difference in between all of them. I am going to go in with the shade Stilo from the Ellery Collection as my lip topper choice. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video as far as the tutorial goes. If you guys are interested to see and hear what I think about this no filter collection as my first impression, then keep on watching this video. Alright, so as far as the no filter collection, I'm going to start off with the foundation. The foundation is 12 bucks. I honestly feel that it is very much medium to full coverage buildable. It doesn't really give me full coverage out the gate. Not to say it's bad for that particular claim. It can reach its potential of that particular claim. But nevertheless, honestly, I feel like this foundation is a great dupe to the Tinted Out Ultra 24 Hour Wear without the sunscreen built into it. So if you are going to be out and you're going to wear this foundation and you love the Tinted Out Foundation, please apply to sunscreen no matter what your skin tone is we all need sunscreen but nevertheless I think that this foundation is very much similar to the Tinted Out Ultra 24 Hour Wear Foundation with SPF of 24 or 21 I think it's like in that range something like that mm. anyways I just think it's so lifelike natural demi natural matte just like the Tinted All Foundation. The shade range is a little bit off for my personal taste. I think it was a little bit too cool as far as complexion goes but I was able to doctor it up using some concealers and some powders to get to this point which is still not the best but it looks good and it matches my skin tone as of right now with all of the products on. Moving on to the concealer. Honestly I feel like I fell in love with this concealer and I'm going to be buying more. And I really hate you, Jay Hart, with a strong passion. You too, Sarah and Jay, I hate you too. You guys love this concealer so much and you've been telling me to purchase this concealer for the longest when it launched. And I was like, girl, I'm so tired of those concealers. I got too many. Made a purchase because I was running out of my wet and well concealers. And I fell in love. I fell in love. Honestly, I feel like it's, it's ultra matte. I really don't have that much problems as far as coverage go. There is a little bit creasing, but I do have, I have million dollar bags underneath my eyes, so that's already naturally expected to do something of that kind of caliber. I'm not stressing about the creasing situation underneath my eyes, but I feel like the color was perfect. It helped brighten up my skin tone as far as the foundation was being a little bit too much cool tone. It kind of balanced me back to where I needed to be and I actually love it. I have the shade number 46. I will be going back and purchasing more 46s. I will be going to get the white concealer to make colorful eyeshadows pop more and I will be getting a deeper concealer just to 
get a more natural highlight and probably a darker concealer to contour with being that there's so many different shades of concealers to pick from and only six bucks and I'm not mad about it but anyways long story short concealer is bomb I will be purchasing more all right last but not least moving on to the press powders honestly I do like the press powders these are actually really pretty I feel like the packaging is so super duper sleek and I just I think I really am enjoying the fact that they're very sheer tinted they don't give that much color you know pay off but I feel like this particular foundation didn't give it the best chance to shine I will be trying this again in another video to see if it works a lot more better but the dark shade did help kind of doctor up this foundation a little bit to kind of brighten the under eye area and that's the purpose of why I bought it because I really didn't care for the color schemes of the loose powders because they only came in three shades but the pressed powders came in six and I felt like this will be a perfect shade to highlight my under eye with and this will be a perfect shade to set my foundation with um, both of them I used both of them on my face today honestly I feel like they're not they're not succeeding because the foundation is not the right shade I will try these again in another video, so be on the lookout to see these premiere again in a video. But nevertheless, I really can't say they're bad. I can't say they're good. I honestly do like them. I honestly do want to use them. I just feel like I didn't get the best, the best usage out of them for this face. Honestly, like the face is pretty. Don't get me wrong, like it's pretty. I just feel the foundation is just a little bit off for it to give the best potential. Alright guys, so this is pretty much the rest of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo review of the ColourPop No Filter Collection and also using a full face of ColourPop's eyeshadows and lipsticks and highlight using majority ColourPop to do this look. So if you guys are interested in me, then come on and join the EXO Squad. Be a part of my gang here on YouTube because we lit all the time. And last but not least, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and turn your post notification bells on so you don't miss a dope video like this. Last so now, at least I'm in the video here. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.